What's going on, guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's your boy Ray's Blaze. If you're new channel, subscribe to all that great stuff. All right, so to, today we are going to be rigging, and I'm going to show you guys, like, you know, the, the easiest way to rig in Cinema 40. We're going to be using the advanced beep. I'm just going to touch on more details, so stay tuned. Uh, I want to shout out to Lara uh, Deezer. He made a, he, uh, a wonderful comment. I really appreciate it, bro. If I can help you, I really, really appreciate it, man. You know, that's the end goal. Anyways, back to the tutorials. So obviously this is Liu Kang. I already have him set up, you know, um, I added in some emission lights. So you can have like, I don't know if you guys know Liu Kang, but basically, you know, he was a revenant, right? So that's how it looks like anyways. So we're going to be rigging him, obviously. And um, let us begin. I'm going to just drag this here. Maybe back. Yeah. So we go under the characters, the usual thing. Oh, you see that the character is not in the right place. So we're going to move this to negative 90 degrees. I just guess the, the, the degree angle, to be honest. <laughs> Anyways, so... Let's go into the character and basically we're going to use the advanced beep. Now, to be honest, I've tried other, like, for example, I tried the beeped. It's, it's okay, but it's not like for like, you know, very complicated uh, uh, animation. It's just like basic. So I don't use that. Anyways, so I'm going to be adding um, an FK bendy. The reason why I use the bendy is because sometimes the muscles might be a little bit funky. So with the bendy, you can always adjust it. So that's why I use Bendy. And then the hands as well. And I usually go for the IK Tom just because, you know, it's it has numbers attached to it. And it's kind of easy and faster to animate rather than doing it like manually. So that's just the frame between FK. FK is like more manual. It means like forward uh, kinetics and IK is in, inverse kinetics. All right. So we're going to add in toms and fingers. So let's just add in. Uh, many fingers he got regular five all right one more would do okay so I usually add in a, a scapular so this scapular is just because um, sometimes when I rig my stuff it's gonna look a little bit like I'm gonna have problem with the waist area so I the scapular kind of like corrects that anyway so let's go back to the spine and I'm gonna add in a leg I don't usually go for the leg only just because I've never really found any use for that. And then we're going to use the eye as well. Now I'm not going to be going into the jaw because I usually face rig differently. So yeah. Anyways, let's begin to adjust. Now the first thing you want to do is to come over to this perspective. All right. And then when you're in this perspective, you can start off with the chest area. Just move it up. And we're going to start off with the hips and just move this up too. And then this is the, sorry, that was the, yeah, that was the hip. So this is the, the leg hip though. So we're going to move this up, kind of like stretch it out. And this is the knee, kind of stretch it out too. This right here, the legs. So always start off with this perspective, sort of like have your character joints align properly. I'm going to bring this down, the scapular. Scapular belongs in this area here. You can also Google where your scapular is. I actually have to Google mine because I don't know where my scapular is. <laughs> and then there's the elbow. Make sure it's in this, like, sort of like close to the, to where the arms will cut out, right? And then let's go to the elbow. We're just going to drag the elbows. It's quite easy. Um, I think I'm going to just drag this a little bit down. Yeah. And the wrists. Now I got to say like, before you start doing the fingers, always ensure that the wrist is in the right place. Because when you do the fingers and you want to adjust the wrist, you can't do it individually. So please do that. Don't make a mistake. So after that is done, we can now go to the side perspective. As you can see, it doesn't really align properly. So I'm just going to hold down seven. And then raise this individually. And I guess we can move this forward as well. Then this the knee. We're just going to move the knee forward. Bring it down just a little bit. And then this is the leg. So obviously you're going to move it here. So now that is perfectly done. So always ensure that your legs 
I kind of bent this way because when your character bends down, he want, you want him to lean forward. Okay. That's why we do that. And then this is the collar. I'm just going to bring the collar right up to close to the neck area. And then this is the shoulders. I'm going to bring this down back. And um, I think it's okay to twist that. You can always use like the four perspectives just to see what's going on. Let's see if I move that like that. Oh, that, that, that works too. Okay. So let's just move that. And then this is the elbow. I'm just going to move the elbow back and then rotate. Boom. Like that. Okay. I think that is good. See everything is still in the right place. So let's go ahead to do the neck. The neck, it's always at the middle of the of the neck region. So just ensure that. And then this is the head. I usually put the head here. Now, to be honest, the head and the neck do combine together. And so that is not like a huge problem, really. And then this is not really important. I just put it on top, you know. Okay, so I think that everything is in place now. I can begin to... Oh. By the way, you see the wrist? This is where the wrist is. And I don't want the wrist to be there. I want it to be a little bit more lower. So let's just add that lower. I'm gonna raise this up just a little bit. And I'm gonna do this here. Good. Now I think that is good now. Nice. Okay, so let me just check the top just to be sure. Ooh, kind of kind of move it forward here like this. Okay, good. All right. So now we can do the fingers in piece. So the fingers, I usually just use one side rotation. Don't use free rotation like this because you're gonna like take it's gonna take you longer. So just try to maintain one certain position movement like for example i'm just gonna move this like this and then i'm just gonna move this down okay so don't ever like do it freely because it'll take you more time I'm trying to help you all right yo so if I check my perspective here, I can tell that everything is aligned. So we are literally done. Oh, just one more thing. We need to adjust the scapular. So the scapular, I usually bring it forward and then probably just bring it around here. Yep. Okay. So let's go ahead to bind, right? Let's test our, our rig, see what we got. All right, yo. It is binded. So now we are gonna just go to animate. And the first thing I just usually do is to add a wall, just see how it works, all right? So you can see that everything works nicely. I'm a little surprised that it got the whole this, but this will be like a simulation, like a cape simulation or a cloth simulation. So as you see, it works really nicely. So let's go ahead to set up our character properly now. I can go ahead to cancel the C motion, just delete it. I don't really need it. So let's see the fingers, see what's going on. Actually, I'm just going to hide the joints. I don't really want to see that. Um, let's see the fingers, what's happening. I'll come over here and then, okay, see that it works nicely. Yep. I can tell everything works, so I, I'm not like gonna go through each and every one of them. Okay, so now what I tend to do first is to sort of correct the weight because first of all, I do have this problem with Cinema 40. I don't know why this happens to me all the time, but again, it's an easy fix. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on my weight here. I'm gonna go to joints and then I'm gonna go to bend the, the right arm. Bendy five. Uh, so many joints here, right? Okay, we're gonna go to Bendy five. 
and I'm going to go to commands copy menu 4 commands merge we want to merge that and then go back to menu 5 and just zero that out so now we can see that it's fixed so if you guys have that problem you might not have it I don't know why I do okay so um, the next thing I'm going to do now I am going to switch this to FK mode um, to be honest I do like the FK mode just because it's easier and uh, not easier but it's much better because I can be able to accomplish more you know um, base poses that I really want to get like some animation are very very technical and you can use IK and so now if you want to use IK look at what IK does I can only has one control. Still what I'm saying? Like you only have this controller to move the arm. And then basically, if you want to adjust the elbow, you have to do this. So I don't like that, to be honest. I prefer the, the FK. The FK is way better because, you know, you have this control over the shoulders. However, we need to adjust the controllers, which we're going to do in a sec. Okay, so let's go ahead to adjust the controllers so obviously before I do that I'm just gonna stretch out the neck because I want to show you guys something so I go to animate here right and um, we want to click the neck so you can see what's happening with the neck and the reason why this is happening is because we have to come over here and then say follow chest all right you can actually move this back to zero and then what you got to do is to use those two controls but what's the point right just just use the full chest i usually do that and then the ik and fk controls i usually put this at 50. this is to give me more control over the spine area it's very important okay as you can see there's a waiting problem here see what's happening as he moves up this is like going up so yeah it's an easy fix but we'll come back to that so let's just go ahead to set up the controls. Now we're ready. Set up the controls. So I am going to go to, back to animate. And uh, basically I forgot to do the bendy arm. Again, like I talked about the muscle, right? Sometimes the muscle might move in a certain way. I might not align properly with the whole arm. So basically. You have to go correct the, the the way you know it bends right so let's go back to our adjust app so now i go to animate and uh, everything is ready now i know this might look scary trust me you when i saw this i was like what in the world it's not that scary y'all it's just it's not everything you use all right so obviously the most important controls are the neck the torso so this green is your torso so basically you know if you want to make your character jump or walk you know you got to use the torso and then kind of like um this one too is like really important because basically what this does is it controls the upper parts and sort of like it bends your stomach so if you're doing a fight scene and somebody punches your stomach you can have that reaction of oh you know so that's what that does and also you can even manipulate this and just move it like this and obviously all the spines here are kind of important too because sometimes you want your character to get into a certain pose and obviously oh i forgot to do one more thing so this control is here boom this is it right there now we're done now we we, we all set now so obviously this shoulders is very important because it moves your character you know this is important too you know so you see that as I move the muscle, right, that moves, but sometimes it doesn't really move properly. So this lets you like, you know, just adjust that. And then what you can also do is this control here, the rectangle, just lets you to bend it if you want. So again, like that's why the, 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 um, you know, the advanced beep is sort of like one of the ultimate rigging that Cinema 4D has. And the legs, you can basically just have it move like this. And uh, you can come over to the controls. And you can also switch to the FK mode. But again, don't use the FK mode for the legs. It's just, 
it's just weird <laughs> you can mix it but you know i don't use the fk mode to be honest and there's the knee twist and then the foot roll and then that right there now if you look at this see that this is like looking this way that's because some of this cloth is it's like you know simulated so basically this part will be cloth simulated and this part as well so yeah basically that's everything you need to know about like you know advanced beep i you know this is a complete full setup and um yeah man um you know feel free to explore what you can do and um you can just basically play around with it you know try to understand how animation really works and i'll tell you one advice always get reference like you can film yourself doing something and then try to replicate that in that way you can really understand how animation works really so just have fun doing that and um yeah i'm going to see you guys in the next video take it easy i hope this video helped and cleared some confusion let me know in the comments what you guys think and um we are out of here take it easy and peace